Pocket Kitchen is right on the boundary, say, for uh, regional restaurants. So we kind of draw on a little bit of um, Melbourne and visitors to the region, but uh, we do have a really good um, base of local people that support us as well. I like to spend a lot of time outdoors, not just in the kitchens, whether it's picking or gardening or the native garden down the back. Lemon myrtle, the mountain peppers, the um, aniseed myrtles, and we use them throughout the different times of the year. The menu changes and evolves with the seasons. We do a lot of nose to tail style cooking. We've got um, the local Gippsland lamb. Uh, Gippsland lamb is one of the best, tastiest and renowned best lambs in the country. So we'll talk directly to the farmer. Uh, they'll deliver it to the abattoir. The abattoir deliver it straight here. Once we get it here, we normally age it for a week as well, let it hang, and then we'll break it. And then uh, when you look at the complete nose the tail, the, the cooking um, and how you treat each product is uh, different. This lamb dish, really wanted to highlight um, the offal, which you don't really see a lot. Made a little, little lamb crepe in it. It's filled with a little bit of um, minced lamb, uh, a little bit of uh, pan fried kidneys, uh, sweet breads, and then seasoned with just um, eggplant, zucchini, and curry spices. And then it's just wrapped up and then braised um, in, the, in the oven. We had the little crumb of lamb's brains as well, so one of my favourites. Uh, traditional sauce um, in a sense, but we used, finished it with a lot of liver. We make a lot of lamb bacon and lamb salami. I've messed around with a lot with goats as well. Just really enjoy cooking and training uh, the chefs that I've got here as well. So I just love that uh, passing on knowledge and every day that we can come in here and work on do new things that brings everyone in nice and close and uh, yeah, just means that we can focus and uh, our concentration on cooking and good cooking is uh, heightened I reckon in that sense and as opposed to having like a static menu where you're just doing the same thing day in day out and you kind of lose that connection with the food. So that's what, what we're doing here. So.